So you've obviously clicked on this video because you've been stopped out of every single trade this week and you're absolutely tired of this like stop hunting just specifically you. You think like the whole world is against you when it comes to your stop loss. I'm here to tell you that you are not the only one that feels that way. I feel like I'm getting stop hunted day in and day out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the average true range indicator, the ATR indicator to help you set your stop losses so that you stop losing trades. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Artie and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. So when entering a trade with proper risk management, you always want to set a take profit level and a stop loss level. Never ever, ever enter a trade without a specified stop loss set into place. If you're unfamiliar with how to properly risk manage risk management skills, watch this video. So what is the ATR, the average true range? Basically the average true range takes the average price at that moment and how much it's actually capable of going up or down. So it shows you a range at that price level. The standard built-in average true range indicator shows you it in pips. So at a certain time, the average true range might be eight pips. So that means the price can fluctuate at that moment, eight pips up or down. Now it doesn't mean that it's limited to that, but that is most likely. So let's jump into the charts and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this indicator and which one is actually better than the built-in. So we're looking at Euro USD right here. The current price is 1.1783. And on the top of the screen, you are gonna click on indicators. You're gonna type in ATR. In the built-ins right here, you have the average true range. Click on that. You are going to adjust the settings so that it's more visible because I'm assuming that you guys can't see this tiny little red line. So now that we've made it yellow and awesome, you can clearly see here that at this current price, let me zoom this in for you, at this current price, 1.1784, the average true range is actually 3.6 pips. So at this point, if you were to enter a trade with a stop loss more than 3.6 pips, the likelihood of you getting stopped out is less. But what you should be doing, if you only wanna use this indicator that shows you how many pip stop loss you should have, what you want to do is do 1.5 or 2X what the ATR is telling you. So at this point, the ATR is 3.6 pips. What you want to do is stretch it to seven pips. So your stop loss at this level right here on this time frame should be seven pips. That way it'll be less likely for you to get stopped out. So let's see what that looks like. A long position right here with a seven pip stop loss and a two to one risk reward ratio is gonna get you 14 pips. So right here is how your trade should be set. But this does not work all the time. There are better ATR indicators here versus you having to set the price manually just based on this line right here. So removing this and removing the ATR indicator, we're gonna go up to indicators one more time and we're gonna actually type in average true range. Right here in the public library, the second option down is average true range trailing stops colored by H. Potter. It's Levio Saw. Click on that and add it to your chart. Now you're gonna to wanna to adjust the settings just a little bit so that it's more clear. So click on the settings right here. The inputs, you're gonna keep exactly as they are. The NATR period is gonna be five and the NATR multiplier is gonna be 3.5. The style, however, is going to be a little bit thicker. So you want 100% color and you want the second thickest line on the red and the green. I like to make my green a little bit more vibrant, so I've picked this green and just click OK. So now you have an average true range actually on your price action. So when you get into a trade, you can actually keep your stop loss on or above, I suggest above this line when it's downtrending, or on and below, I suggest below when it's uptrending. So you would set your long position right here 
your stop loss would be below this green line, which would be at 13 pips, and your take profit level is gonna be 26 pips. This is going to be a safer trade for you. Now that is simply using the ATR to set your stop losses. You don't know if this price is actually going to continue up just because you see an uptrend does not mean it is gonna stay going up. I like to add a couple of moving averages. So type in SMA, it's gonna give you the smoothed moving averages. You're gonna click it three times and we're gonna have three different SMAs. We're gonna change the first one to 21, make it white and okay. The second one is going to be changed to 50, change the 50 to blue, hit OK, change the 200 to yellow. It doesn't really matter what the colors are, just so that you know which ones you're looking at. Now, let's hide the average true range indicator for just a second. You can see we've been in a clear downtrend, trading below all of the moving averages, correct? Now we are starting to break through the 21, and now we're starting to go up to the 50 moving average get rid of that position, you can see we're losing downwards momentum. So the price may go up. If we break through this 50 moving average, your target can be this 200 moving average. But again, going against the trend is very dangerous. You can see we've been in a very, very strong downtrend. So for you to be in a buy position right now is reckless. What you should be doing is actually waiting for a rejection on the 50 line, which it's almost doing right here, it actually might go up just above it and then start continuing down again. So then you use your average true range indicator, you put it back up, you can see that setting this as your stop loss might actually get hit. So you wanna make sure you're going in the right direction before you place a trade. So let me hide the moving averages really quick and you can see that if you were to use this at any entry point in a clear and concise downtrend, keeping this as like a stop loss initially and then continuing using it as a trailing stop loss, you're doing really, really well and you would have only gotten stopped out right here. So you see this downtrend, big bearish momentum right here. You keep this as your stop loss and you trail it all the way down you could have gotten out of your trade right here. And that right there is a 93 pip take profit. So if you guys are still watching this video, guess what? That means you like it. So make sure you're smashing the like button down below. It makes me feel good about myself. And that's pretty much it. That's how to adjust your stop loss so that you stop getting stopped out. If you guys really did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that big red subscribe button. That too makes me feel good about myself and we will see you in the next video.